The cost to develop a new drug is somewhere on the order of about $2 billion now. So they have to get an adequate return on investment, or what you're going to see is fewer drugs coming to the marketplace. You could lower the cost of medications for everyone if you could reduce the cost of the component parts. We teach students how to solve problems, and uh, that's something that kind of transcends the discipline. If you can pair those, those engineers up with a, with a physician or a, a, a medical researcher, you can actually get uh, some synergy that would actually help you solve some fundamental problems in healthcare. There are very tough chemical engineering problems that need to be resolved. And so our students in all aspects are getting an opportunity to learn new skills. This whole idea about applied research in, uh, in an educational environment is absolutely essential in the 21st century. Our school was begun as a public-private partnership. It was the intent of the founding fathers to build economic development around the university. When people start hearing about what we're doing, there's a lot of people that want to participate. The idea of being able to work in an academic environment and develop new technology that can be quickly implemented in the marketplace is kind of a unique. My expectation is a lot of the pharmaceutical companies are want to partner with us. Our students want to do things that have value. They want to be involved in projects that benefit mankind. This idea of making it real is something that we're doing every day here. And the Medicines for All project is a really great example 